Hello, and welcome to this presentation in which you'll see how to create a virtual local area network, or VLAN, segment, and on that, a private virtual interconnect, or PVI network, dedicated to a tenant group. Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control provides these features to configure the virtualization environment in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. The network we create is based on a virtual local area network or VLAN segment created on one of the pre-configured networks of the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. The network is a private virtual interconnect or PVI network which is an internal to the appliance network among the servers that host virtual machines. The network in this demonstration is scoped to the appliance servers that belong to a single tenant group. We associate a network profile to the network so IP addresses and host names are automatically provided to virtual machines created on the network. So when you create the network, consider the maximum number of IP addresses that can be created from the profile to ensure that all anticipated virtual machines can be configured. Let's take a look at the creation of a VLAN and then a network using Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control for the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. We start at the Oracle VM Infrastructure view of the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. Here, click the VM Manager menu, select Administration, then Network. Click on the Create button. Before you can create the network, you must create the VLAN interfaces on the servers of the tenant group. Click on Create VLAN Interfaces to continue with the selection of Oracle VM servers. Enter the VLAN segments you want to create. For our demonstration, we need only one segment. Enter 506. Now, we want to add the ports from each of the Oracle VM servers in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance that belong to the tenant group we want the network to support. Click the Add button under the Ports heading. The interface to select servers appears. Click on the small icon next to the virtual server input to display all the servers in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. We scroll to see the two servers in our tenant group. Select servers OVCACN13 R1 and OVCACN14 R1. Now, click Select and the ports for the selected servers appear on the port list. Best practice is to select bond ports for the network. Select bond port 5 on OVCA CN 13 R1 and bond port 5 on OVCA CN 14 R1. The number of selected ports appears below the list. Click on Continue. The Create VLAN interface page refreshes to include the selected ports. Click OK to continue. When the confirmation box appears, click on Job Details to monitor progress of the VLAN creation. On the Job Activity page, we can see the job status is running. Set the refresh interval for the page. The job has now completed and the job status is succeeded. The VLAN creation is complete. Next, create the network. Navigate back to the Networks list by clicking the Enterprise menu, Option Cloud, then Oracle VM Infrastructure Home. Next, click on the Target Navigation menu in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance option. On the VM Manager menu, click Administration, then Network. Click on Create. In the dialog box that appears, click on Continue Network Creation. Enter the network name. In this example, we include the VLAN segment in the name to make visual association more easily when performing other management tasks. Under the list of network roles, ensure that only the virtual machine option is checked. Do not check any of the other network role options. Doing so can cause the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance to fail in unpredictable ways. Click Next. Now we can add the VLAN interfaces to the network. Click the Add button under VLAN Interfaces. In the VLAN Interface Selection dialog, enter 506 into the search field and click the search icon. The two interfaces for the VLAN segment 506 appear. 
Click on each entry while holding the control key, then click Select. After the interfaces appear in the VLAN interfaces list, click Next to continue. Now we can associate a network profile to this network. A network profile is used to automatically assign IP addresses, host names, and other configuration options to virtual machines on this network. Click Add. We'll click the network profile 506 PVI that was created before we started creating the VLAN and network. Click OK, and with the network profile selected, click Next. In this last step, we review our network settings. The name is CD506. The only network role assigned is Virtual Machine. Scroll down to see the VLAN interfaces and the assigned network profile. Click Finish, and then click Job Details on the Confirmation dialog. Monitor the request on the Job Activity interface where the status is shown as running. After a short delay, the status changes to Succeeded. Return to the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance by clicking on the entry in the Targets field. From the VM Manager menu, select Administration, then Network. The Networks list appears. Use the triangles in the field label to sort the Networks list. The new network, CD506, is easy to find. Click on the name to display the network details. The details displayed include the VLAN interfaces and the network profile values. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.